Hi, so welcome to the video. And if you're new here, hey, my name is Jasmine and I make press on nails for baddies. So let's get into it. In this video, I am getting ready to send out some nails, a pretty large order of nails. So what I did was just went ahead and branded these boxes and I just started recording it because I thought it'd be useful. So I got the boxes from Amazon and they didn't come with anything on them. They're just plain boxes. And I made my own labels with my Cricut machine. So if you'd like a detailed video on how I make the labels, for any of my branding things, make sure you check out this video. And if you'd like a more updated one, go ahead and comment down below because I don't know unless you tell me. <laughs> so like I said, I made the labels with my Cricut machine and right now I'm just weeding it out. I think that's the word when you know you just get all the excess off and just only have the label so that's what I'm doing here and I made my life harder by making my font the weight or the thickness of the font is pretty thin so it's kind of hard to get the um, the excess off without breaking anything on the label and yeah it's it's a struggle every time so i highly recommend i mean do what you want to do it's it's your font it's your logo it's your business and clearly i chose to make my life harder so i'm just letting you know <laughs> to keep that font weight or the font thickness in in mind when you're making your own logo and you want to use a cricut machine to make the logo so after I have finally gotten everything weeded out and I have my logo left out, I use tape, regular, regular shipping tape. I know a lot of people use the transfer tape, but um, it's pretty much the same thing. So I'm just using shipping tape and getting one of my boxes. This one came broken. What the? Okay, so I'm getting one of my boxes that is not damaged and then I'm going to take off the tape and it just leaves the logo sticker on there and then I just line it up in the middle of my box, push it down, make sure it's on there nice and good, smooth it on out and then this is my favorite part, just revealing revealing your beautiful logo. It's super easy to brand your own stuff, you guys. All I used was Fonto to make my logo, a Cricut machine to print them out on these little permanent vinyl stickers, and then some shipping tape to transfer it onto whatever I am putting it on. I could put this on so many different things. I put this on shipping boxes. You see me here putting it on these boxes that I use my press-ons for. I've used this on lip gloss tubes as well. It's endless things that you can put this. I've used this to put a sticker on my computer. It's just so many different things that you can use this technique for you guys. And I'm just going to finish up getting the labels on these boxes.
Well, I just wanted to pop back in while I was finishing up and say thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. I really hope I helped you guys learn something new, an easy way to brand your business, and just put your brand, your logo on pretty much anything. <laughs> And if you like this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share with all your friends, and hit the notification bell because in the next video, I'm showing you how I packed these up. So thank you for watching. Bye.